Hi everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for visiting me again. I hope you guys are having a lovely day so far. Today I have a really nice video put together. I have some brushes from Sonia G. I also have some new makeup from Paco Rabanne. I have lipstick and I have eyeshadow. This will be a first impressions video, so we should have a lot of fun today. By the way, it is the last weekend of Oktoberfest here. I am totally avoiding the city so i am really gonna catch up on some of my videos guys i have so much uh products that i have bought in the last couple of weeks but due to my work schedule i have not been able to film a lot so i have fragrances new fragrances from guillain I have some of the fall products from Chanel. I also have some Arabian perfumes products from Danessa Myricks. So there will be a lot of new videos coming up on this channel. Today I will start with the Sonia G brushes. Guys, as you know, I did not have or I do not have many brushes from Sonia G. The first product that I bought was this bronzer brush and it was so awesome. It is so awesome. I decided to invest in more Sonia G brushes. I did pick up this Pro Eye Set, yeah? It comes like this and there are five uh, brushes inside it is unpacked because you know i had to uh wash the brushes before um i use them and i am going to use this today with the paco rabanne eyeshadow palette but this is what the brushes look like it is very sturdy it is very beautiful there are five brushes in the set the brushes are simply packed you know in these um these nylon uh, plastic not nylon they are packed in these uh plastic um bags and yeah i will just show you how this looks when you go when you get it yeah, this is what it looks like. Each brush is packed individually. Guys, honestly, uh, for 155 euros, I did expect maybe a little bit more uh, posh packaging because it just came wrapped in tissue and with these very uh, basic, you know, um, plastic bags when i do buy these japanese acrylic pencils for drawing they also come in the same type of uh plastic bag yeah but anyway i will most likely end up buying maybe a case for putting this in also one which will also fit uh this bronzer brush but there are five brushes in this set and what I do like about these eye brushes is that the name of the brush, it is written on the brush itself. So I will show you, I don't know if you can see this, yeah, it is written here. The brushes that I did receive in the set there is uh let me see there is a crease pro it is this one there is a blender pro it is this one there is a worker pro which is this one this is the builder pro and this one is the pencil pro I am most excited about this Pencil Pro because I really needed a new uh, 
a brush for smoking underneath of the eyes. The bristles, they are feeling very soft, but I will really know this when I use this on my eyes, when I am doing the eyeshadow application. This brush set, it is costing 155 euros. By the way, I was very surprised. I thought when you get a set from Sonia G, maybe it is cheaper than getting the brushes individually. I did uh, make a calculation with these brushes. There is no big difference whether or not you get these brushes individually or whether or not you get these as a set. This was, I mean, I was looking at the website in Euro, so I was a bit surprised at this. I don't know if this is for the Euro website or if it is this way in general. Up next, it is this new uh, makeup line from Paco Rabanne. Guys, I was at Sephora about, I would say, two and a half, three weeks ago. And I saw a lot of people crowded around, you know. At my Sephora, there is this counter in the middle where they always have the new stuff. And there were so many people grabbing stuff. And all I could see was euphoria and everything looked so beautiful. So I also went, I started looking at the makeup and then I realized it was a new makeup line from Paco Rabanne. Oh my God, everything was just so beautiful. The packaging is stunning. So I ended up picking up this Euphoria. It is a mini palette. This palette, it really called out to me. So I got eyeshadow and I also got some lipstick. This is the Euphoria mini palette. This is what it looks like. And I got it in this shade. This is called Midnight Lights. I saw this eyeshadow palette and immediately I had to have it. This is what the palettes look like. Yeah, it is completely silver. It is plastic. It is not metal. It is plastic. On the back, it does say Paco Rabanne and it does have the eyeshadow shade on here. In order to open the palette, there is a squeeze mechanism here and when it is pressed, then the palette opens. I have not used this. This is a first impressions. And oh my God, look at this, how beautiful this is. There is a mirror in this uh, mini compact. This color here, it is Midnight Moon and this is silver, what is it called? Silver Hour. Midnight Moon, Silver Hour. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Guys, I saw this and I just had to have it. I will start with the Blender Pro for the contour of my eyes. When I looked at the looks here yeah, with this eyeshadow palette, the models, it was a bit of a similar look to that of Prada where the eyeshadow is just added on the corner of the eye and in the crease, just two colors and finished. So I am going to try this look today. I mean the eyeshadow, it is blending nicely. I am using the mirror from this compact. It is a bit small. Yeah, I mean, it will work if you are traveling, but I cannot see myself applying eyeshadow with this at home. This Sonia G brush, I mean, it is nice. It is soft, 
But honestly, I have a very old brush from uh, Bobbi Brown. It is called an eye blender. I do not see or feel any big difference in the application of the eyeshadow so far. I mean, honestly. I am just going to use this uh, Pencil Pro to sort of fix, clean out the edges. Yeah, this mirror, I mean, it's hard. It's really hard to see anything in here. I will just use my mirror in front of me because it is really a waste of time using this small mirror. For precision blending, this brush is really awesome. I will now go in with the Builder Pro for this lovely silver color. Ah, this applies the eyeshadow nicely. Guys, I'm just playing around a bit. I will try with my fingers, yeah? The other side, oh my god, look at the difference. When this eyeshadow is applied with the fingers, the color payout is a lot more. I will just use this crisp brush for the inner corner. It works much better than the other brush. I am now using this crisp brush on the outer corner and I am getting a lot more pigmentation and uh, it is blending better. I love the way this is working for smoking out the under eye area. Maybe I will try to hold this mirror like this. Ah, yeah, this is much better. I will just use this Worker Pro just for using it to see how it feels, you know? Well, this is the finished eye look. I just went ahead and added some mascara. I mean, the brushes, they are very nice brushes. I love them. I wouldn't say that this, uh, wh which one is it? The Blender Pro, it is my favorite, but these are really good brushes. I mean, I need to work with them more, play with them more, find the correct uh, texture of eyeshadow for using with them, but I do like them. They feel really nice in the hands. Guys, by the way, this eyeshadow palette, here yeah, from Paco Rabanne, there are quads and then there are also these, I don't know what you call them, these color shots. I wanted to get some of the color shots because they had some very nice nude colors, but I do have the uh, color fix that I just ordered from Danessa Myrick, so I did not get any of those. This eyeshadow palettes, they are costing 26 euros, and there are, I believe, 12 palettes. I do like these shadows, but honestly, I think the blue color, it lost a bit of its shimmer vibrancy, when I added it with the brush into the eye contour. I will use this eyeshadow palette more with my fingers and really just for doing a one and done color because this indigo color here, this midnight color, it looks much better when it is applied uh, with the fingers. This silver color, it's the bomb. I love this. This will be beautiful for the holiday season. On to the lipstick. I did buy the lipstick. It is called the Rouge Rabanne, high pigmented and vibrant colors. I got one of the lipsticks in the matte chrome color. This is what this looks like when it is removed from the packaging. This is absolutely gorgeous, this lipstick bullet. I think this is 
Is it metal? Uh, no. This, it is plastic, but it is very beautiful. It is actually hard to tell that it is plastic and it does say Rabanne here. These lipsticks, I picked up this one because honestly, guys, in this matte metallic, there are only three shades and um, this color, I got this in the color 006. It is called Red Chrome. This was really the only color from the lipsticks which really called out to me. A color which I thought was different and I did not have. For example, in the rest of the matte lipsticks, the reds are colors that I have and the other colors, they were too light. There is one other color that I thought maybe I might pick up. It is sort of a nude color. red chrome in the matte metallic color it does have some fragrance it smells more like a fragranced lip balm guys this is awesome it is creamy it has a lot of pigmentation and it feels lovely on the skin also due to the metallic um, properties of this lipstick here for me in the mirror it does have a very nice shine i do uh like this very much it does not look like any kind of matte lipstick i think to call this matte it is a bit stretching it let me see what the packaging says i don't know if it is supposed to dry as a matte uh, lipstick. It does say it is vegan, eight hour wear, made in Italy. It says one stroke, intensity and super gliding lipstick. Definitely true. This applied quite quickly. It is an ultra vibrant metallic finish high coverage and soft, smooth and lightweight on the lips up to 12 hour comfort and hydrating and supple lip feeling. I think the claims on the lipstick, it is quite true. I am really loving this lipstick. The other two metallic colors, they are uh, metallic blossom and there is also a rose. I looked at those other two, the shades I did not think would work for me. These are also costing $32.95. Um, By the way, the eyeshadow is saying it is versatile and highly pigmented eyeshadow in one stroke and second skin feeling. Honestly, I think these eyeshadows are probably meant to be applied with uh, the fingers and not really with a brush, but this is a nice uh, eyeshadow palette. Will I pick up more items? Yes. I do hope in this metallic formula that they do have more shades because in the normal mattes, there are 12 more shades, but I can't see myself picking up any of the other shades which are now already available. Like I said, maybe just the nude shade. I will keep fussing with my brushes. Like I said, they are soft. I like them. And you will see me use this quite often on this channel. And I will keep updating you guys on how I get on. Anyway, guys, have a lovely rest of day. Please remember to subscribe and send me some comments. Give me a thumbs up if you are liking what I am doing on this channel. Tschüss!